Is marriage worth it? This is a question that you have to ask yourself. More and more people are actually making the decision to not get married versus get married. People who have been through divorces, some of them choose not to get married again. Some people believe that they will not be able to find love after a divorce. Hey, 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 Tasha here, back at you with another video. If you wanna save your marriage by becoming a better you, then please consider subscribing to my channel. On this channel, I talk about marriage advice, mental health management, and personal development and growth. You can save your marriage even if you are the only one that want to save your marriage. I still believe marriage is worth it. I don't think that I would be able to survive in today's dating culture. I look at my single friends and I'm just like, I don't know if I can do that. I have a quick question please comment below. Have any of you tried dating apps? Have you actually found somebody on a dating app? And are you married to that person? And what was your experience of finding someone on a dating app? Please, I would love to know, comment below. I've never done it, so I would love to know. Me personally, I think if my marriage didn't work, I just would be alone. I would not go on no app, no nothing. I would just, I would be by myself. And if you're someone who actually enjoys dating around and being with different people and never really having a like real connection with somebody, then I would tell you to not get married. Like don't even consider it, you'll be miserable. You have to know what you want to be married for. We all know somebody that have been together with their partner for years, years, and never been married. You have to know the reason that you want to get married. Getting married for the wrong reasons is why there are marriages that continually fail. Marrying someone so that no one else could have them is not only childish, but it's possessive. And I believe that that relationship will most likely end in divorce anyway. Getting married just for money is also not a good idea. And you'll probably end up not getting the money anyway. Marriage also will not solve any existing issues that you currently have in your relationship. Just because you get married to your partner, that does not mean that any issues that you have will magically go away. Getting married will actually amplify those issues that you already have in the relationship. Getting married because you are lonely is also not a good idea. And I actually did a video on doing things because you are lonely, which I'll actually put up in the card. And don't be married to somebody just because you wanna prove a point. Let's say everybody in your family is saying that this person isn't good for you or they're going to say that the marriage isn't going to work out, yada, yada, yada. But you want to prove everybody wrong. So you decide to stay in the relationship just because of what everybody is saying. No one else is going to look like boo-boo to fool but you. If you know that that person is not right for you, what are you staying in that relationship for? Maybe you're in a situation right now where you keep getting asked, when are you going to get married? When are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna give me grandbabies? You know, that whole the clock is ticking thing. Or maybe all your friends are married and you wanna keep up with them. I would say to you, don't get married because these are not good reasons to get married. If you are getting married because you are over the age of 35, if you rush getting married or you rush getting into a relationship with someone, that relationship most likely is not going to work out or you're gonna end up being very miserable in that relationship. You don't need to rush getting married at all, but yet so many people do it. So many people get married for the wrong reasons. And then we wonder why the divorce rate is so high. When you get married to someone, you need to make sure that your vision for the future and their vision for the future matches. You want to be on the same page with your partner. My husband and I, we both have different goals and aspirations. But one thing that's the same is we know where we want our, our family to be in the future. We know the goals of our family as a whole. And that's what makes it work for us. Even though we have different goals, both of those goals are all about our family. Me and my husband, we have a lifelong friendship. And no matter what, I can count on him. And you should marry someone who's not just your ideal partner, but someone who is also a friend. Someone who you can confide in. Someone who you can talk to about anything. Someone you can talk to and also not feel judged. Marriage has to be exciting for you. And if the thought of marriage don't excite you, don't get married. Because I know for me, I'm excited every day I wake up in the morning and I look at the person that's next to me. Marriage will challenge you. It's very, it can be very challenging, but it's you who have to know if the challenge is worth it. And will you accept 
the challenge. You can watch more of my videos on marriage in my marriage advice playlist. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video have brought you value. If you wanna see more videos from me, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. So don't forget to like this video if you like it. And remember, love yourself, adore yourself, be yourself. Thank you guys, and I hope I get to see you in my next video.